who do you think starts at small forward? J.B. Bickerstaff said uh, Saturday he knew, but he wasn't telling us. So we'll, I guess we'll find out tomorrow. Do you have a gut feeling who ends up as the small forward? Well, I think he's known probably since the summer when they got Mitchell and he started drawing up plays with a new lineup. Um, but, you know, look, yeah, gut feeling would be Karis LeVert. A lot of people will say, well, you know, that's a lot of scoring in the starting lineup. Wouldn't you like LeVert coming off the bench? Um, and that's that's a reasonable thought. At the same time, uh, I, I think LeVert really, you know, he can. His last game as an Indiana Pacer last year, I think he had 42 points. So, and, and the fact that he's become much more of a willing facilitator and the fact that he really has talked a lot about defense and how he wants to be a complete player and improve defensively. And, you know, preseason, he was taking on guys like James Harden, uh, defending them. I just think that, yeah, you give yourself that extra weapon. Look, you know, uh, Jared Allen isn't really an offensive weapon, and that's okay. He gets his points off lobs and, and putbacks and, and those sorts of things. But uh, you really have a lot of uh, scoring capability uh, if you factor in Garland, Mitchell, and, and LaVert, and, of course, Evan Mobley, who's going to get you 15 to 20 a game, uh, even if he doesn't take a step forward. He may be able to do more than that. So I, I think the reality is that Pickerstaff is going to go with LaVert at first um, and, and see how that works. And if not, you know, maybe you're not getting enough scoring off the bench, so you, you move LaVert to the bench. But um, – I think as a third-year player, Isaac Okoro would probably be more willing to accept the role off the bench at this point, um, and, and maybe you try it that way. And if it doesn't work, look, you've got Isaac Okoro, who's who's not a terrible fit himself uh, in the starting line.